Welcome to Destructoid, I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. I mean, let's face it, the real news this week is GTA 5, everything else is crap. Yep. You know what's not crap though? This 18 page cover story that Game Informer released yesterday all about GTA 5. We've been talking about this for weeks, it's finally out. Now, we already know that this game is gonna be set in Los Santos, which is the fictionalized version of LA, but we didn't know the exact scale of the city until now. According to Rockstar, Los Santos is bigger than the worlds of GTA 4, San Andreas, and Red Dead Redemption combined with plenty of places to explore, both urban and open. You're going to be able to take a trip to the beach if you want. You can visit a military base, hike up Mount Chiliad, which is the GTA version of Mount Diablo, and wait for it, scuba diving. Boom. Yes, you can motherfucking scuba dive in GTA 5. Imagine all of the species of fish we will find, maybe even a swordfish. I hope that there's a shark fish. Shark, Damn it, a sh that's not a real kind of fish. shark. Yeah, we yeah. like fish here, we and scuba diving fish. is a good thing. Um, so obviously we already know that Rockstar is amazing at creating just massive open worlds with fantastic amounts of detail, and fish. they're ramping that up even more for GTA 5 by completely rebuilding the gameplay mechanics from the ground up. So now instead of running through the campaign as just one guy, there are three main protagonists that you will play three. as, whom you'll be able to switch between at various points throughout the game. And of course, each character is gonna have their own distinct personality and neighborhood and background and everything, but their lives eventually intertwine. And the idea is that by experiencing the story from three different perspectives, you not only have a strategic advantage because you know information before others do because you're everywhere all the time, but you can also avoid the boring parts that usually come along with open world games like this by switching over to another character that's maybe doing something a little bit more exciting, like, I don't know, scuba diving? Looking at Did fish, we mention you hanging out under the water, looking at all the different God, fish down I'm there? So excited. So excited. Pre ordering it tomorrow. I love so, reefs. Yeah, as for the uh, the three main characters who will be scuba diving and looking at the fish under the water, there's Michael, who we might know as the narrator from the trailer. He kind of looks like Ray Liotta. He's a retired bank robber who's cut a cushy deal with the Witness Protection Program, and he lives in, uh, in Rockford Hills in a big fancy house with his gold digger wife and his two bratty kids. And then there's Trevor, who's Michael's longtime friend, who's kind of his opposite. Uh, Trevor is a, uh, he's a drug addicted, career criminal war veteran who lives out in the desert in Blaine County. Uh, to round out the trio, there's uh, Franklin, the token black guy from South Central, who's in his late 20s. He's a repo man for a car dealership, and he's an aspiring hustler, and he uh, kind of crosses paths with Michael, and he gets wound up in their plans to um, become a, a trio of crimesters. That's them right there. You see them? So anyway, each character has their own personality and set of skills, as well as one or two unique mini-games, which will presumably coincide with that character's hobbies. I wonder which one will like strip clubs the most. <laughs> My bet's on Trevor. Um, anyway, confirmed leisure activities include yoga, triathlons, base jumping, jet skiing, tennis, scuba diving. Did we talk about the scuba diving, no, Tara? No, I don't think there so. There is scuba diving in this game. And it, surprisingly enough, there's a full-fledged golf game, oh. like uh, 18 holes. They, they put a golf game in the game about the car stealing. Go figure. Uh, and Rockstar's really pushing for diverse mission types. There's gonna be multi-tier heist missions, similar to GTA 4's Three Leaf Clover mission, and that's gonna happen early on in the narrative where you can um, kind of swap between different characters, mm -hmm. which is exciting. Um, that's gonna be a, you know, a, big, a big theme in the game. Um, a lot of the missions are gonna involve more than one character, but rest assured there will still be solo missions as well. Uh, one thing that's interesting is GTA 5 uses the same uh, dynamic mission system from Red Dead Redemption, so you can choose whether to participate in side quests or not. For example, if you see a like an armored you know, money cash van truck thing on the side of the street, you can attack it and get the money out of it. You can also flip people off. Yes. And like, depending on what neighborhood you're in, they'll react differently. Yeah. So well, depending... if you're in like South Central, you're get your ass beat. Yeah. You know? If you flip off soccer moms in Beverly Hills, yeah. they're probably just gonna gasp. They're probably just gonna want to bone yeah. you or something. And apparently, the uh, the people in the environment will react differently to the different characters. So like, basically, yeah. nobody likes Trevor because okay. he's a crazy person. That guy's weird. Uh, but yeah, Rockstar's not talking about multiplayer yet. That's obviously gonna be making return, uh, and that's gonna be incorporating presumably the crew system for Max Payne. Oh yeah, 3. they confirmed they talked that. About that. Yeah, that's exciting. So get get in Max Payne 3 and, and get get your crew together. There's a Destructoid crew. Yes, there is. Um, now obviously, there's a ton of stuff we don't know yet. We are just seriously just skimming the, the surface of this month's Game Informer. There's so many things in this besides scuba diving. We really should talk about the scuba diving more. We should. It's pretty exciting. Um, but, you know, go be a good sport and buy a copy of this uh, the Game Informer or, you know, download it from the internet onto your 
iPad or your Android device or whatever it is that the kids do with it. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to read a magazine anymore. Uh, but yeah, uh, don't forget we're getting a new Grand Theft Auto V trailer next Wednesday, so stay tuned uh, for that. That'll be cool because we'll get to see some of these things in action. It will be cool. Now we have time for some Q&As. Somebody said, Anthony Carboni, I love you. Well, that's great. I think it's you not have here. the wrong show. Yeah, go away. Come back later. Um, Hold on. Have the, uh... Somebody asked, what about the PC pre-order for GTA V? <laughs> uh, well, ooh, mm. I don't know if they're they making a PC. Say, I haven't talked about that yet. So. I, Terra Long prediction incoming. I would six bet. After I would bet that it comes Races. a good three to six months after the console launch. Uh, three to six. I would. I would say longer. It was. A, it was a good. It was a good while for. Um, for the. Um, the GTA 4 one. Yeah. Well, Max Payne 3's PC version came. I think less than a couple weeks after the console versions came out. Maybe it didn't sell that well compared hmm. to the console version. That makes Here's sense. Some Here's some, uh, I'll say, Ultimate Gamer 504 says, intersecting storylines, Resident Evil 6, anyone? Anyone? No. I don't know, I don't, I don't think that that's... This isn't like, this isn't like a, you finish one dude's campaign and then you move on to the next, right. though. It's like all happening at once. This and it's is... part of that whole, like, living, breathing world thing that yeah. they're trying to do, where, like, you, there's always something going on no matter what. Yeah. I don't know. It's never, uh... it's never stale. Scoob diving. Wow, I will buy that game now. People seem to be responding positively. James to the scuba. Salle, I'm with you on that one. I am excited about the scuba diving. Uh, let's see. Madrovich says, can you use the flamethrower while scuba diving? I, do you think they're going to have a flamethrower in this? That's one thing is ammunition stores are back, so you can buy guns yeah. because, you know, Liberty City, they've got tight gun laws, but this is, you know, this is LA, so it's the craziness. Notaku um, PK said, for some reason I hoped there would be a female character playable because of the multiple protagonists. Hmm. You and I both, Notaku, PK. Yeah. Huh. But then I shudder to think of what would happen to a female character in GTA V, and then I think, eh, you know, it's not such a bad thing that we're not Yeah. Uh, let's see, Spider says, the size of GTA is impressive only if there's content on the map, or am I wrong? I'm, I'm with you on that. I think there was definitely that, like, that's one problem I had with Red Dead Redemption, yeah. is there's just, you spend so much time just kind of like, kind of wandering around. If it's if it's urban, it's it's more interesting, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I can see how there might be, it might look like there's a lot going on, but in fact, they're just giant set pieces and you can't actually yeah. interact with them. I don't think well, that's going to be the case here. Yeah. I mean, they talked a lot in the Game Informer article about all the detail that they put into the city and, and how you can go into a store and like, find all these like little, you know, food items and stuff, each with its own like unique branding you and stuff. You can go like, into the, the store and look at the tiles and some yeah. of the tiles will be more worn it's, down it's than weird. others. It's weird, things that you don't even think about when Man, you're playing a video it's deep. game. I'm, I'm excited about this. I will I'm say I was, I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, the three the three character thing. I think that if they if they pull it off, then I have faith that they can do that. I, I do too, I absolutely do. They don't really make bad games, you know? Technically their games are, I was really impressed with how they did Max Payne 3 and the whole seamless transition between cutscene and gameplay. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's gonna yeah, they've they've stressed that a lot. A long way in if GTA there's a also. forklift mission in this, though, I'm just gone. I'm just done. I'm putting it down and walking away. Sorry, no more forklifts, Rockstar. No, thank that's you. That's our terms of agreement. Scuba diving. That's what I want. So that is about all the time that we have for today's show. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the GTA 5 news that we had. There are a couple things actually that we should announce. Um, Exciting one, things. we just put a video up on Red 3 Games. What's the video that we put up, Max? It's Casual Friday. We talked about uh, launch titles for video game systems yeah. that they put out games in with. In the past. We talked about our in, feelings on past yes, launches. In lieu of the Wii U and its Yeah, and its favorite things. launch titles yeah. and such. Also, we've got kind of a huge announcement that's coming next week on Red 3 it's... Games. We're not going to tell you what it is now, but it's pretty big. We're like getting you, a dog. You're probably going to shit your pants. Yep. The dog's probably going to shit on the don't carpet, too. spoil it, Max. It's a, it's a Rottweiler. We got it from the pound. It's got Just shut um, your mouth. Just shut two your legs. Mouth. We're going to be back here on Monday, but in the meantime, you can find us over on Twitter. I am Tara Longest. He is Max Scoville, and the show is Detoid Show on there. We've got almost 7,000 followers on the Detoid Show account, so hello. you guys should go double that or something. Yeah. I don't know why I just said hello. That was a weird thing to say. <laughs> right. I meant to say, don't do crimes yes. in real life. Good advice for everyone. Go in the video game to do the crimes. We'll see you on Monday.